Have you ever stopped and thought about who am I inspiring? Not me, but you. And I'm thinking the same thing about myself. Who do I inspire to do great things? Do I inspire my kids? I hope I do. And hopefully I inspire some of you and I appreciate the comments throughout my time video and here on our channel saying that I inspire you in various ways. Well, four and a half years ago, I met someone who's been inspiring me ever since. Four and a half years ago, I heard about this project called Permaculture Chickens. And then when I saw the trailer for it, I was like, wow, that's it. At that time, I was getting started on my homestead and was just craving knowledge and information to help me grow to be a homesteader. And when I heard about this project from a guy named Justin Rhodes, and I actually found out that he lives not too far from me, I said, man, I want to meet this guy. So I scheduled a meeting with him. And this was all before YouTube, any of his YouTube stuff. Went to his homestead, met him, his family and helped out around his homestead. Whenever I go somewhere, I just gotta help somebody. I just, even if it's just carrying a bucket of feed or a bucket of water around, I feel like I just have to contribute, have to give in some way. Well, recently we had an opportunity, my family and I, to visit Justin Rhodes and his family again. Once we arrived at the Rhodes homestead, it was time for them to do their afternoon chores. So we headed outside with them to help them out with the chores. It was Justin, his kids, my kids, and I. And we loaded up with them in Sally, their all-terrain vehicle. Here we go. <laughs> okay. Ready? Is this fun? You like this? Just a little bit? What about you? <laughs> Not sure? And another area that Justin inspires me is as a family man, as a husband, a parent, a father, and as he is working with his children to see how they're growing and developing, like Jonah. And to my surprise, as we were heading up the mountain to do the chores, it was Jonah who was doing the driving in Sally. Regretfully, it's not every day my children have the opportunity to learn from other kids and see other kids who are diligent, who work hard, and who have chores and things that they are responsible for. So it was neat for me to see my kids watching their kids and be like, wow, they have chores too. They work hard too. Getting out? That's great. <laughs> and little Gideon was quick to bring out a knife to open up the hay bale. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 It's such a special feeling working side by side someone who inspires you. And as we're out there doing homesteading stuff, working beside Justin who's inspired me as a homesteader throughout the years, it just felt really good. Alright Mike, we're gonna we have our kids here, that's where they were today and yesterday. Okay. We're gonna set up a whole another one right here. Alright. Once we set that up, we just open both of them up and move them on out. Now we can come through again with cows and sheep and they've manured and they've left spent hay. There's going to be grass seeds in that. 
and that's organic matter to hold down the soil all winter and this is just going to explode come spring and this on our very property was not pasture was not grazable and now it is wow so when we can't expand or buy more property we can make higher production on our own property just by rotating the animals using the animals to clear forest turn it into pasture just using the animals to help you manage it better and yep partnering with them giving them a good place to live because guess what cows sheep pigs anything likes chickens is gonna like this yeah better than an open pasture better than a complete forest they're gonna like the mix and they're gonna be more productive there we go that's so a good trait your co-workers yep. <laughs> and the sheep one day behind so what's cool about the sheep is they eat what the cows don't eat so they don't take any more land that's great They eat the old the hay the cows get in eat. They, they'll come in here. And I don't know what they're eating in here, but they'll come in this briar pot and eat. So they have a synergistic relationship together. Yeah, and guess what? Cows eat sheep parasites. They're on the grass. Sheep eat cow parasites. And the one can't live in the other's rumen. So if a sheep swallows a parasite that would ill affect a cow, it does. Wow. Vice versa. Well, they're like vacuum cleaners for each other. Both of you can start right there, I guess. Okay. Go to, you go to the end. So I go that way. I'm gonna leave room for him. Yeah, put yours, start yours, or you want me to do it? And as we were tending to the cows and the sheep, Jonah noticed that the pregnant cow was showing signs of going into labor to give birth to a new calf. It can happen tonight or tomorrow. Yeah. You want to bring her in? Because what? Well, what this look like this calf. You feel like bringing her in? Yeah, her 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 yeah, udder's swollen even from this morning. Did you see how her bulb is opening? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. Who's the right. her all that way? We can bring her in. So Jonah herded the cow out of the pasture down to the barns towards their house. And as he was herding the cow down, my son Josiah was joining him and he just had to ask Jonah. I bet it would really stink. Yeah. Our game. one cow used to fart on top of it. <laughs> right? Our one cow had really bad gas. And I never smelled it, but Papa smelled it too. Yeah! It smells the worst. Throughout my personal and business life, I've had many ups and downs. And I still remember I had this project that I was really excited about and really working hard on, but it failed. And I still remember Justin reaching out to me and telling me about a project that he did that I had no idea about, that it failed, and how he didn't let it hold him back. And he continued on and has done many projects that have been successful. And that meant a lot to me that he took the time to reach out to me to give me encouragement. And the last area that I want to mention that Justin has inspired me is as a YouTuber. A few years ago when he started his YouTube channel and started documenting his family and on their homestead, I was like, wow, that is really neat what they're doing. And I know he's inspired so many other people through his work that he does on this YouTube channel. And I said, you know what? We should start a channel too. So we started a channel together. 
journaling what we do on the homestead. But if it wasn't for him, we probably wouldn't have had the opportunity to come into contact with so many of you. And we really appreciate that. And along the way, we've been able to share many things that we have done on and off the homestead with you, as well as to be able to reflect back on ourselves to look back at some of the things that we have done. And while we were there, I got the journal through the video. My first time that I could remember, if, if I had done it before, it was like when I was way little, but I'm gonna call it my first time milking a cow. So the next morning, Sayla and I joined Justin and Jonah to milk their other cow who has an older calf food grade, instead of a five gallon, not only can we scoop and get our scoop out, it holds more so we don't have to go get more alfalfa so much. Oh yeah, look, she's ready to go, buddy. Mom's she's got, got a nerfing on the way down. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. She's got milk oozing out. She might not be as full as she was yesterday. We've been getting a strong gallon and a half. Really? Yeah. Take a That's good. The calf being on her too during the day. So we brushed her off. Now we're going to soap her off. Some hot water in this tumbler. So, this also helps the milk drop. It's nice and warm. It's relaxed. Maybe we doesn't match dirt on there. Let's see. Let's clean it some more. Do you really? You don't get anything on your cloth. Good. You can take a cloth dryer off. And you do this every day? Post las dias. There we go. Every day. Strip her out three times. Uh, they clog they clog it up naturally, and that's where maybe some bacteria will form. So you just get the first few strips out. Good morning, Lily. And as I watched him milk this cow, this was one of the more slower paced tasks that I have seen him do here on his homestead. And now the boring part. <laughs> this is the time to catch up on your audiobooks, podcasts, quiet time, whatever, meditation. You gonna eat dairy animals? No. I want to have some. Get that mitt off of it. So that's the reservoir bucket. So we pour what we've already got in there. Now you can cover it back up. And now if she bumps this or we get poop in it or something, we haven't lost all our milk. Ah.
you like milk, Sailor? Yep. Love it. Yep. Can't get enough of it. <laughs> love it, love it. Can't get enough of it. <laughs> Hot action. Hot action, Mike. You missed it. Yeah. That's why you have that uh, reservoir, right? That yeah, I mean, nothing got in it, but... <laughs> yeah. Just in case. Just in case. <laughs> it's the part that's not so glamorous, right? <laughs> you said you want a horse, so that kind of stuff has to be done. Yeah. <laughs> I like to try. This calf, he can't get any either. So what's he gonna do? Watch. See, we milked her and now she's out. But these calves have a way of getting more. He still hasn't got any. He's going from teeth to teeth. Oh, did you see that? Did you see that? That's a little trick. Get more milk flowing. He might have gotten some. So we're going to try to move him to another one. Yeah, he wasn't getting any out of that front one. There? Nope. Watch this. Nope. Oh. Nope. I think he's got one, some out of that last, back one. So we're trying to get some out, come out of the other two. Alright, money. Wow. <laughs> reward everybody a little bit. And they're our partners, not our slaves. Here you go. So they give us milk, we give them nice alfalfa treats, fresh grass. What? I haven't seen that done before. That's neat. So now we have to sort of start over. He holds it back for that calf. You ever heard that expression, behind the milk? Yeah. She's holding, she's holding back on us, and the back behind milk tends to be the most creamiest. Huh. So now we wash it again, because, I don't know, I don't want milk, I don't want calf slobber in my milk. Ew. <laughs> yeah. Might be good for the bio, or microbiome, but I can only take it so far. <laughs> This one's bummed, it doesn't work. Okay. So, try these other three, three okay? Okay. Yep. All right. How many times you got it? pressing on the same one? You can keep going at it. Okay. Back, as soon as you're done squeezing, you can squeeze it again. Okay. Help him out, Lily. <laughs> oh man, she's got it. <laughs> oh, okay. There we go. Man, Lily's a pro. Oh, I thought I was doing something wrong. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting it a little better now. Making progress. Lily's still making me look bad though. Jeez.
If it is, you didn't want to do it, why not? Look, it's making us look terrible. <laughs> My hands and forearms are getting a workout. Definitely not used to milking a cow, but uh, this is really neat. It's one of those homesteading chores that just feels good doing. Something I can see me wanting to do on a regular basis sometime. Definitely one you don't want to rush. <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody ride a cow before? Never! <laughs> That's pretty cool. Please. <laughs> After the cow was milked, we headed up to their house where Justin filtered the milk, and we all were able to enjoy some nice, fresh milk from their homestead that we all played a part in milking. And man, it was good. Okay, you know He can have it all. That's his. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't going to take a break either. Slow down a little bit. You can drink all of it. Just slow down. You got to breathe every now and then. <laughs> Mom takes it away. Milk's more important than air. Okay, which one are you? There you go. Let's know what you think, Josiah. It's good. There we go. We are immersed in the rose lifestyle here. I know for sure this is the first time that I've actually drank milk that I had a part in milking. So this feels good. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah. Okay. Also, while we were at the roads, we did a live stream interacting with a number of members in the Do It Yourself Abundance membership area. We were chatting about fitness and health, and it was really good to be able to interact with people in a more in-depth way than we are able to do here on YouTube. Well, speaking of that, Justin and I, as well as a number of other homesteaders, are offering some free content exclusively from December 25th to January 5th with a lot of in-depth homesteading content that will benefit you in building your homestead as well as building a better and healthier life. So make sure you take care, take advantage of this special opportunity. It is in the show notes below. Well, regretfully, we weren't able to spend too much time at the Rose, but we're thankful to be able to meet up with them again and see them and hang out with them and look forward to seeing them again. Well, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below who inspired you. Whatever area of life it is, whether it be in your career, in your family life, whatever, let me know who inspires you. Because we all need individuals to inspire us in various ways. And I hope that I do. And if I have, let me know in the comment section below too how I have inspired you, how we, how my family and I have inspired you in some way. Let us know. Well, that's it for now. As always, be strong and grow on. We'll see you next time. Oh, 
And I can't forget, while I was there, Justin challenged me to do a polar plunge with him in their creek. And man, it was cold. But make sure you check out his video of this on his channel. Oh, that's when you can get out. Okay, I think I can talk. <laughs> <laughs>